Hi everyone, uh, I'm Doug Holmes. Uh, my research group uh, builds structures that can be integrated into robotic systems, uh, either as artificial muscles, end effectors, sensors, actuators. Um, and we do this uh, by playing with shape. Uh, and if you take something like a thin sheet of paper and you try to stretch it, it's really hard to do so. But if you add cuts to this sheet of paper, it becomes really, really stretchy. So for instance, you take this sheet, you add a bunch of cuts and now it becomes a nice soft spring. And that's what that picture in the orange in the top right there is. If you make those cuts further apart, uh, the behavior changes a lot. And the, on the green there, that sheet is much stiffer. And what's interesting is the, the sheet on the, on the right in the green there, each of those little unit cells, you could go in and poke on them and switch them from that configuration to the other one. In the, on the right, it's stiff. On the left, it's soft. And what you've done is you've created a structure that you can play with and pattern in different ways but also you've made something that's kind of like a muscle. If you have it in one configuration and it's stiff and another configuration and it's soft, it's able to do mechanical work. It's able to lift weights. And so here you go on the left-hand side, on the configuration to the left, it's, they're all like the green one. And on the configuration to the right, they're all like the orange one. And you can see it lowers this 500 gram mass. And so we kind of make a very, very lightweight artificial muscle just by playing with shape. Now you take that same cut pattern, the one in the green on the right there, and you, instead of cutting it out of a flat sheet, you cut it out of a curved sheet. Now, when you pull on that structure, it behaves in a very different way. When you pull on that structure, it makes a grasping motion. I'm gonna pass around some for you to play with. You know how this feels. You can watch some video. This is a robotic gripper that's able to grasp a whole bunch of different objects, various different shapes and sizes, different weights. It doesn't know what it's picking up. And the way it works is, the object deforms the gripper instead of the gripper deforming the object. And so it's able to come down and pick up in this next image, uh, a really delicate object like a raspberry without imparting any damage to this object at all. This is entirely dependent on shape. And the reason why that's important is because it can scale. So you can make it bigger to grab something like a wallet or you can make it smaller to grab like a raspberry droplet. You can grab really slippery things. That's a hydrogel bead incredibly slippery. You can grab that raspberry. You can play with the shape of the end effectors so they can grab something as small as an individual grain of sand. You can make them into hand tools so they can grab pills. And you don't have to use mechanical force to actuate them. You can use uh, magnetic actuation. You can attach many of them in series to come down and grab something long and slender like a pencil or perhaps like Kalin's hot dog. You can attach them in series in parallel to grab an array of objects and manipulate that entire array without losing uh, how they're behaving together. So here it's gonna grab a bunch of slippery gel beads, rotate them and put them back down. You can also make more complex and intricate cut patterns to make more interesting shape changes. So we can make linear actuators in which we pull on something vertically and we get uh, pitch, or we pull on something vertically in the one to the right, and we get rotation around the axis that you're pulling on it. So we can get pitch, yaw, roll, um, uh, lift. And on the right here, we can take that original cut pattern that we used to make the Karigami gripper. Uh, we can reinforce the edges. We can get multiple stable states and we can start to build um, logic, uh, the, the components for logic gates. And so we've made a, uh, on the top, a, a NOR gate. So if you push down either one of these things, it turns on that light on the right and you on the bottom right, you have to push down both of them. So we get a, like a NAND gate in which if both of them are depressed, you get some mechanical logic uh, in that way. And so my group uh, works on building these structures. The important takeaway is that the focus here is geometry. So we can make these out of whatever materials you want. We can make them out of very, very small, very thin materials or very, very large um, engineering materials. And thank you. <laughs>